What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be doing another vlog as you can see here. I apologize for not posting in a bit. It was just kind of busy with like family and the holidays. Which by the way, I hope you guys have like a great Christmas, New Year's, uh, safe family travels. Basically in this video, if you watched my last video, my what I got for Christmas video, I got a camera stabilizer, the new GoPro, and uh, stuff like that camera equipment, and I wanted to test that out today. I got the stabilizer all set up and ready to go, but I haven't had the opportunity to actually like, film anything with it, so that's what I wanted to do today. The sun was going down, and I found a spot, so I was going to get some like uh, sunset shots with the car. I actually tried doing this like two days ago, but I lost like the... Uh, piece for the stabilizer that goes up through to screw into the camera and I lost that like bolt but I found it just now so that's why I'm recording this yeah so I figured we'll head out there real quick before the Sun goes down it's already like 530 and it's been getting dark so early because it's winter time enough of my rambling let's hop in the car those headers sound so good so we're in the car on the way to the spot it's not like a crazy spot but um, I was out there a few days ago whenever I was gonna film uh, this and I got some really sweet shots it's at like a local church and they have like a huge pond and trees in the background it looks really good especially when the sun's going down so I thought this would be a good idea to do this now and we are driving as you can see by the way I'm loving the wide angle lens it just makes like filming so much easier because I don't have to like hold the camera way out here even though my arm looks super long whenever I do this but I can hold the camera like here and it's still like wide enough even though I'm holding it like literally a foot from my face but we're heading over there now and I guess I'll see you guys when I get there all right so we're here I'm gonna hop out of the car and it's beeping all right so there's a nice little pond here and there and it's uh, a little darker out than I thought it would be so I'm not entirely sure how well not entirely sure how this is gonna go but hopefully it still turns out decent as cars park around me I feel like such a professional oh jeez. all right so I got the stabilizer the slider and then the tripod so hopefully I get something good here I just need to hook up the pin this pin which is the one I lost to that and then we'll be good to go hey right, it's set up look how stable it is it's so stable all right so like I said I've never used this before so I guess we'll see how it goes let's try it out Okay, so it's getting dark. I pretty much ran out of daylight now, um, but this is kind of like what I've been working with here, just the, the slider on a tripod along with the stabilizer. Hopefully I got enough shots. I don't expect the clip to be very long, but I just kind of want to mess around with it for today. But the car looks absolutely gorgeous right here, and people keep driving by, and it's kind of funny because they're going to the church, and I'm just sitting here filming a Corvette. But um, I think it turned out pretty decent. But like I said, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna head home now. Probably do a few things there, but I guess we'll see. So I'll see you guys back at the house. So we are back home now, as you can see, and whenever I said I was running out of daylight, I was not exaggerating. Right there, it's already dark out just on the way home. Literally, it was how, however light it was whenever you guys saw it, in like 10, 15 minutes it went to that. So completely ran out of daylight, but it's not a big deal because I had some stuff that I wanted to get done in the garage anyway. So this gives me a good opportunity because I can't film anything outside regardless but I have uh, like this kind of stuff I have this uh, Corvette Boulevard, Boulevard sign and then I have my first license plate along with a bunch of uh, license plate covers that I wanted to mount up here on this wall to go along with that so I went ahead on the way home and picked up these some 3m hooks and some velcro to mount this stuff up here so I think it'll look uh, pretty cool just because I'm kind of turning this section to what the heck was that? I don't know what car that was. I'm gonna mount those up right now So now we can get to mounting some stuff. I wanted to try to use uh, these hooks to mount my first license plate because I have this Carbon fiber license plate cover. I accidentally, uh, my buddy actually got me one whenever I already ordered myself the exact one. So now I have two, and I'm gonna use this to mount my uh, license plate like that up on here. I think I'm just gonna put it literally right below the uh, Corvette sign. I think it looks pretty good. 
Uh, you can see the hooks, but that's not a big deal because this way I can actually just like take it off if I need to. All right, so I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I know you can see the hooks at the top. It might be hard to see in the camera, but this is actually kind of better because if I need to slip this off, I can just take it off like that if I want to like put a different cover on it or anything like that. So I think that looks pretty good. Kind of what I had in mind anyway, and it's pretty centered. So I think we're gonna stick with that. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. I went ahead and put the uh, Corvette Boulevard thing over here. I was gonna put it on top, but I felt like it would just be a little bit too much going on in the center here. And then I have the uh, license plates there with my uh, Dodge Challenger plate when I had the Challenger, and then the RT whenever I had the other Challenger, and then Alton Auto plates, my first license plate, Corvette Boulevard. I think it looks pretty decent. Now, I still have, um, these, which is Central Florida Chrysler Jeep Dodge, where I got my first car, and then where I got the Corvette, and then this is whenever I had the exhaust for my um, Orange Challenger. So I'm not entirely sure what to do with those, just because like they're not like super like collectible plates or anything. They're just kind of random plates. So I might hang them up there in these uh, gap spots, or I might save those for maybe like smaller pictures or something, I'm not entirely sure, but I guess we'll find out. So I think that's how it's gonna stay for today. I have that up, I'm decently happy with it. For right now, I just left these uh, other license plate covers up there until I find something to do with them because I don't wanna waste any kind of like hooks or anything on them just to set up like some cheap plastic uh, License plate covers, so I guess we'll wait and do that to another day. Maybe if I have something to put in them, like pictures or something, that might be a good idea to put like pictures in each one of the empty license plates, kind of like what I have done there. So I might do that at some point, but I think this pretty much wraps up the video. I don't really have anything else to show you guys today. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how long the video will be because I haven't edited it yet, but if it was too short, I apologize. And if it was long, then I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. But uh, let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the future as always. And also I was thinking about, for those of you that made it this far, um, I was thinking about possibly doing a QA and a if I got enough questions. I've always actually wanted to do one, so if I got enough questions or enough comments on this video, then next video I post, or one of the next videos I post, I'll do a Q&A where I uh, just answer the questions that you guys um, ask me. Also, I forgot to mention, we got a new car here. This is my sister's fir first car. It's a 2017 Porsche Macan. So a uh, new review will probably be coming soon on that. Um, but practically, not practically, it is brand new. She's already put like a thousand miles on it though. But like I said, brand new. So I'm gonna be doing a review on that soon. Only reason I haven't yet is because I don't know a ton about Porsches because I've never owned one or driven one other than this one now. So I've never done a lot of research on them, so I kind of need to brush up on all my knowledge regarding that before I do an actual review and possibly drive it a good bit first. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, even subscribe if you guys want to. New content coming soon as always. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video.